Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the slide tool. So I have this simple geometry setup, and we're going to go over the slide tool. So to bring up the slide tool, if you're in uh, model mode and you have your object selected, it works in the point and line mode. We can go to slide down here, this icon here, or you can right click and you have slide. You can access slide here or MO on your keyboard. So it works in point mode by simply moving the point along the curvature of the geometry. And what you can also do is weld points. If you hold down command, you can uh, weld these points by click and dragging. So that's, it, it's a very versatile tool in that, in that sense. But what works best, I think, is working in line mode. You have a few different options in which to work with. And it kind of mimics a few other tools that we have here in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to show you this one uh, example of how you could use the slide tool. First, just by when you're in the line mode, you can move along the path of your geometry. And you also have preserved curvature. And this will allow you to move your and slide your line along the curvature of the geometry that you might have, whether it's a sphere or any curved object, which is very helpful, especially when you're working with uh, spheres, because you won't have any of those ridges that you might have if you're just using the directional tool in order to move your uh, your object around uh, your uh, your line or point around okay so one thing that I want to show you is if you are using say subdivision surface and I'm gonna put our symmetry object in the subdivision surface you can see how we have our curvature because of a uh, of the lines that we have in our base geometry. Now you can put in cuts similar to what you would use for a bevel. You would select these this loop line by just double clicking on one of the lines and it'll select the entire loop. What you can do is you can hold down shift uh, you can hold down command, excuse me, in order to make a um, another line and it would best to understand this is if I use this loop and command click and drag and it'll duplicate that line or that loop uh, depending on what direction you're moving now with this line selected I can command click and drag giving me that loop and I'm going to do the same thing here in order to give you the line cut the edge cut in order to give you a nice crisp crisp edge now there's another option another modifier key that you can use if you select this loop with your slide tool and you command click and drag while still holding the mouse uh, left mouse uh, clicked holding down shift can then extrude that line that duplicate line that you made I'm going to do the same thing over here 
Command click and drag, and then hold down shift in order to bring out this geometry or in if that's what you're trying to do. So you can see you can make a pretty interesting geometrical shapes and you don't you can also use shift without the command key. So if you have this loop, you can hold down shift and now we'll expand it as well. Let me undo back. And so you can make some pretty interesting geometrical effects. So that's really it. Um, you, what I love about this tool is that you can, within the same tool, you can bevel, extrude, and weld points all within the same tool. So I think it's a real time saver when it's, it's sort of like a few different tools in one. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.